Hey, y'all, uh, what's up? It's your girl, Teresa Ray Butler. I am back with another wig review slash informative video. So, if you're not over the age of 18, very religious, you don't like swearing, uh, you don't like light skin people, whatever your thing is that you don't like, that you know right away from reading the title or listening to me for these few seconds, now's the time to exit the channel and go and please find a channel that's suitable for who you are and what vibrational frequency that you're on. All right, so this is Tuscany. She's in a color 1B. I already did the Tuscany and the DX, um, I think it's 2733. Well, check my wig review playlist, it's in there because I put all my wig reviews in the playlist in the Teresa Ray Butler wig review playlist on my channel. Um, the lipstick I have on is Firecracker Red from Ice. Um, I got this wig from Sam's Beauty on sale for $17.99 at the time of purchase. And she's like 28 inches long, maybe 30. Very full, very beautiful. There's a comb in the front and a comb in the back. Um, it fits very snugly. Um, as you can see, I just lifted some of my own hair up. My hair, my hair color is actually a number one, but the one B seems to match very well. So I just let my regular hair do what it do, <laughs> and kept it rolling. All right, so today's little topic is get your information for whatever you need. Everything has a solution when it comes into the form of a problem, of it being a problem. Um, I recently had an ear infection, and what I, what I ended up doing was treating it with hydrogen peroxide, and it worked like a freaking charm, y'all. Like a charm. Hydrogen peroxide. Yes, you pour it in your ear, in the ear. You could even use it as a wash to, to keep your ears clean, you know, keep them clean as you keep your your body clean, you know, like you brush your teeth or comb your hair, or take a bath or a shower, you can, you can do ear washes maybe once a week or at least once a month, I would imagine, but in this case, my ear was just hurting and itching, and that was an indicator that there was bacteria buildup, so I just put the peroxide in my ear and let it bubble and pop, and that, that was a clear indicator that indeed I had like an issue with my ear so um I, I just laid there on, on the towel let it bubble and pop till it stopped probably took like about 30 minutes and um then i turned over on the towel let it drain out and you know just repeat and repeat a couple times a day and um then probably reduce it down to once a day after like a day or two of doing that and then you know by then after that, you should see signs of, of either being totally gone or way better than where it started. Like, because if you don't take care of these things, you can go deaf, you know? It could do damage to your eardrum to the point where you can't hear it anymore. And then some people are even partially deaf because of things like this. They didn't even know because of lack of information that this, this could have prevented, you know, partial deafness or full-blown deafness in one ear or things like that. So, y'all don't be scared to get your information. Um, I guess before I tie this video up about Tuscany, I also want to talk about women's fashion for women over their 40s. As you all know, um, in a few weeks, I will be turning 43, so yeah, I'm excited about that, and 
Um, there's just, there's just like, there's still people coming to the channel who, I guess they don't like my presentation or whatever, you know, because most of my wig reviews have like, you know, profanity or whatever involved with them, as well as the information that I always freely give with love and light, but um, it boils down to doing what you want to do, you know, that makes you happy. Now, I was also coming in doing things for women in their 40s or over their 40s when I, when I first started um, making videos on a regular, you know, and just to show the world that just because you hit 40 or something like that, you don't have to feel like that's it, that's over with, you should have had YouTube when you were in your 20s or what, you don't have to feel any kind of way when you're doing what makes you happy. It makes me happy to share information, you know, I'm not a person that likes to hoard anything good to myself when it comes to information, you know, because if you fuck with my chocolate, I'm going to kick your ass. <laughs> That's real talk. But, um, yeah, so. Oh, you thought I was going to do this video and not say one fuck? No, not this one. That's why I gave the disclaimer at the beginning. Okay. <laughs> I'm just messing with y'all. But, yeah, um, women who are in their 40s out there, if you, if you like my channel, and you look forward to me coming in and, you know, showing you a nice wig. Yeah, bitch, some of these wigs are cheap. I ain't talking to you, ladies. I'm not talking to anybody that always gives me love and light. I'm talking about these retarded-ass bitches that come on here and talk shit like you a cheap-ass old bitch in a cheap-ass wig. Um, technically, some of that shit's true, bitch. I'm old, and this wig is cheap. So, duh, get the fuck off the channel. You know what I'm saying? But... I'm saying this, well, you know what, fuck it, I'm saying it to everybody, with love and light, assholes and elbows, um, I really would like women who have reached their 40s or who are over their 40s, any, any age, you be transgender, I don't give a shit, what I want you to know in your femininity is that age is a concept, there's no set way to dress like there's this movie called this is 40 where the woman she gives this big declaration of why the fuck she wants to stay on 38 and she don't want to shop at at ann taylor and the loft and dress barn and shit like that she's not ready yet you know what i'm saying so what i'd like to add to that is hell yeah we do what the fuck we want you know what i'm saying this is like a time in humanity where people are going for happiness you know we we think entities like Abraham Hicks, um, Ramtha, Bashar, um, these great cosmic beings that, that use these channeling energies to transfer the information of happiness is the answer, joy, the frequency of love and light, do what makes you happy. So if you are listening to this video, and by the way, thumbs up if you found it informative in any way. I'm um, not trying to be all funny today. Most of the time, really not trying to be funny at all. I'm just being myself. But this this is basically uh, an encouraging video also to, to, to get you guys to see that it's okay to be who you are. Just, you know, take no shit and harm none. Take no shit, harm none. And a lot of these young, let's call them bitches. Because the young ladies or the young, you know, women that are heroes, that are doing the damn thing, they're awesome. We look up to them as well. Just because they're young doesn't mean we can't look up. There's a lot of young people that I really look up to here on YouTube. And a lot of them are beauty gurus. You know, they're, they're awesome. But these young bitches, you know, and there's a couple old bitches too that, like, you guys come to this channel and you're looking for uh, a fucking victim to target your bad energy on. You like see me and you say, well, this bitch, I could just target her and I could say all the shit to her that I really want to say about myself or to somebody else that's bothering me in my life. Or I could just, you know, use her as an excuse because I'm not doing all the shit that I truly want to do or I'm supposed to be doing. Um, 
y'all bitches need to really get in the mirror and try to understand what the fuck drives you to come all the way to your computer or a computer or a phone or whatever and watch this whole goddamn video after the disclaimer and everything and then come in and say some stupid ass shit so you can release this fucked up energy because you're a bad energy bitch and then feel as though ha sit back like yeah i done did some shit you know fuck her fuck her channel i want her to stop it and knock it the fuck off what makes you think that that shit is going to make me stop or make other viewers not want to watch or subscribe to the channel fuck y'all with love and light honestly you guys try your best to get a rise out of me but i'm so cool when i type and call you a fuck stain yes a fuck stain you are like a little pile of fuckery in the middle of a bed after fucking you're a fuck stain you're nothing to me da -da 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 -da. and really when i'm responding i'm responding out of love because really, fuck a lot of y'all. I don't respond when y'all being negative and shitty. A lot of you bitches, I just be like, whatever, you know. But when I'm drawn to a bitch's comment and I respond, bitch, you are loved in that comment.